and a glimpse inside the locker room. Players' final few moments to prepare for the game and the task ahead. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Glad you're here with us tonight for this Monday night presentation. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Now, we all have seen when the war... It has, and their coach reflects it, and their team plays the way he thinks. Good stuff, D.A., thanks. And it's the Warriors to start out. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. They've got Smith. He's out there with Jackson. T.J. McConnell is out there with Buddy Heal. And it's Nemhard in at the shooting guard position. Here's Nemhard. We have just about a half season behind us. The rankings are clearer than ever, Greg. Do you feel confident starting to make some playoff predictions? Oh, Kevin, it's way too early for that. Injuries, other roster shakeups. There's just still so much that could happen and, and totally reshape those rankings. Now, McConnell. After the miss three from Clay Thompson. Smith on the wing. Eight feet away. Crane for two points. <laughs> About one minute into the first quarter. Curry against McConnell. Now here's Curry. He's covered closely. No good on that one. And Indiana will go the other way with it. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. It's an East versus West matchup tonight. First meeting of the year between these two. Yeah, fun to see maybe strangers because you just aren't familiar with these faces here tonight. This will be a very exciting game to watch. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Isaiah Jackson. The free throw drops for Jackson. And so Jackson nails both of them. Here's Curry. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Superb job by Clay to draw the contact for the end one opportunity. Great focus on the play. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. Play. And Clay announced Thompson. with that his family Athletic. foundation would have a 941-day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. Now here's Jackson. 12 points his last outing. The rejection by Paul. They recover it. Smith for three. And Curry pulls it down. The Warriors have gone just one of four to get this game started. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. That one misses. Three shots all come up empty. Healed outside to the paint. Here's Nemo. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Well, healed right there on the yield, waiting for someone to get open. McConnell against Curry. Thompson, a screen on McConnell. Curry, and Curry throws it down. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Here's Nemhard. The Warriors making the shot. Smith kicks to heel. Down to five on the shot clock. Off target with his three. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And the dunk was nice, Kevin, but the move he made to free himself up was a thing of beauty. It sure was, Greg. What a savvy play to get into position for that jam. Here's Nemhard coming off a solid outing against Portland. Here's McConnell and the rejection by Curry. On deep. Pacers with the rebound. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. They get the rebound. 
And Jackson throws it down hard. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound and, and doesn't take any chances there with the put. And Jerry's strong work all around in the mm -hmm. rebound and the stuff. Oh, wow. That one good for two. Six points for Clutch. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now, here's McConnell. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. It's tipped. Stolen by Thompson. Curry against Smith. A 17-footer. And it's Paul missing. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Jackson passes to McConnell. Back to Jackson. Here's Nemhard. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. And it's Smith missing. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Golden State moving the ball around. Wiggins kicks to Curry. The rebound by Heal. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Sinks the triple. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. three on the court for the Pacers as our second quarter gets underway. Matherin at the shooting guard. Heald is the small forward. Smith is out there with Jackson and it's McConnell in at the point. Now here's Heald. Six on the shot clock. Here's Matherin. It's good from long range. Matherin's got 12. What a motor. Matherin can go all night and, and he has. What a performance. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And you hear the legends, Brent, talk shot. So often, it's about what separates winning players from the guys that don't win as much. What comes to mind for you? I think what comes to mind, Kevin, is expectation. And sometimes we get a little bit ahead of ourselves with guys who we want to anoint as the next great player. Look, sometimes it takes three or four chances at the highest level uh, to finally reach that point where you have the confidence and the experience and the know-how to be one of the best players in the league and who compliments you along the way. So to me, it, it comes with a great deal of patience to let that player achieve that level of success. Now, Kurt, after the missed three from Buddy Heald, that's in, okay. and the major lead has come down to just two points with the bucket from DiVincenzo. Jackson, a screen on Kurt. Here's Matherin, defended by DiVincenzo. Smith, the pass to McConnell. Here's Matherin. Jackson kicks to Smith, pass to McConnell. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Outside for Jackson. On the wing, heel. Jackson setting the pick here for Heal. They shoot again. Jackson misses. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. DiVincenzo finds Curry. Curry setting the pick for Poole. Top of the key. Almost, but it rolls out. 
And that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time he hits him. And there's the call on Kurt. First personal foul. That's his first, first foul. foul. Jackson dishes to Smith. Back to Jackson. And there's the pass to McConnell. Four on the shot clock. No good on the three. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Here's Matherin. 12 points for him. With nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. And sitting out for over two years due to devastating injuries. It is so good to see Clay Thompson back on the court. I love it. And he's been so competitive with himself to fight through this injury and also to, to regain that form. There had to have been a lot of questions with no. over 900 days off. Can I get back to that level? And I believe that he wasn't even fully healthy during the finals. So we're going to see a, a more confident play this year. So it's the Pacers now following the score by Golden State. And he gets it back. Jackson a screen on pool to the inside. Ball's knocked loose. And the shot goes down. TJ McConnell. McConnell's got it all tied up now for the Pacers. Resourceful move there. That, that was not an easy one to convert. No. Showing off a little bit on that one. That's a play when your coach goes, no, nope, no. Nope. Okay, good play. Get back on defense. Jackson a screen on Kirk. Three-pointer heel. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Now it's a three-point pacer lead. And these quick hitting plays are great for a quick set shooter. Heald scoring. Here's Looney. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Atherin passes to McConnell. Smith with a screen on Curry. McConnell scanning the floor. Smith in the post. Defended by DiVincenzo. The shot's good from Smith. And the Pacers lead by five. Thompson in the corner. Gets it from three-point range. Thompson's got six points. Well, for poster guys, it's usually dunks. But I, I wouldn't mind a Clay Thompson jump shot poster to look at on a nightly basis. And the Pacers call time here. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows that they're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Every look here for the Warriors. Miami's jumped in for Kevon Looney. Curry. 13 points in the game. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Team sports. The Warriors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Curry. Two shots. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. You can tell that miss at the line might stick with him for a while. Always hurts to miss a chance to take the lead. It has to be touched. Now Kirk. Indiana foul. Andrew. 
second personal foul. The Warriors have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. At the line. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% shots. as a team. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Both free throws good for Curry. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the that's free throws right now. Form looks good. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Warriors ahead. Up two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Coach, where do you look to shore things up at the defensive end of the floor? They're hitting us in some different areas. You know, so we got to give help on the inside. And uh, with the guys we have playing tonight, we got to be real persistent, real together. Got to find that chemistry very quickly. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Hello there, everybody. It's halftime. And right now, the Indiana Pacers are in the midst of a good battle. Uh, the rebounding has kept them in the game, preventing second chance opportunities on one end, creating them on the other. They've been the more physical team, that's for sure. And moving on, let's take a peek at how the East is shaping up here in the midseason. And take a look at the Pacers. They knew it was going to be a tough year. And I got to say, it's been hard to watch them fight, looking through all these challenges. I hope they're learning something out there. Challenging time for the franchise. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Curry has been sensational. He has something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. And the Pacers have been one of those teams that they're allergic to rebuilding. But there's clearly a youth movement in Indy. And, and with young talents like Tyrese Halliburton and Isaiah Ben Mathis, they already boast some nice building blocks. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We've got Paul. Thompson is out there with Wiggins. And it's Curry. And it's Looney in its center. Here's Nemhard, guarded by Kerr. And yes, it's good. Nemhard's got eight points. The Warriors trail. Curry looking around. Shakes him. Oh! That one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Nemhard. He's got eight. Jackson down low. Defended Isaiah by Paul. Jackson. And Jackson gets it to go. Jackson's got four this quarter. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. And it's Wiggins missing. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Pass to McConnell. Outside Jackson. At the top of the key, heel. And then Heal with the dunk. Well, nice to see Heal on the runway right there, taking flight. Here's Paul. And the rejection by Smith. That one goes in. Here's McConnell. He averages about uh, five points a game. Aston Emma. 
And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. First team foul. The Pacers shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Two shots. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Warriors trail by three. Outside Curry. Kicks it to Thompson. Three-pointer. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. They kick out to heel. And once again off the mark by Indiana. Wiggins finds Curry. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. The Pacers have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Here's the pass to Nemo. Jackson setting the pick here for Heal. He feeds it to Jackson. Back to Heal. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. That's 10 points for Buddy Heal. Jackson. Good job in the mid range. Buddy Heal getting squared up and scores. Here's Curry. And foul Pacers on the foul. shot, so he'll get a chance Isaiah at the Jackson. line. Second first It's going to be on Isaiah first Jackson. The Warriors have been coming through at the charity at the store. They've the made seven of their eight attempts. Curry. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Pools checked in for Golden State. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Here's McConnell. Here's Nemo. A three-pointer off the mark. Warriors have gone three or six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. There's a good screen. Curry with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Healed outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. But still, eventually you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. And stolen by McConnell. Here he goes. Here's Jackson. And Jackson throws it down. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair in a close game the important thing is to get the two points not necessarily the dramatic oh come on he had to go for that didn't he my goodness andre gudala he's checked in for goal outside curve for the tie it's rebounded by indiana Itadze's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Nemard. 13 points in the game. Passes it to Itadze. Shoots a fader. That one off the back iron and out. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot off. And the Warriors miss again. And the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. RJ passes to Tice. Here's Nemo. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. As we reach the end of the third quarter, just a terrific game so far. The Pacers lead by three. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Fans, give it up for your Warriors. Nick Carlisle had some words for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Look, you can score, but we're getting seduced into a shot trade from these guys. We don't want to do that, right? And you know, both teams are clicking right now, Greg, but Coach Carlisle, you heard right there, knows that defense will be crucial if they want to win this game. Spot on. If they can get a few stops, I think they're going to be in really good shape. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. And a look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. 
Daniel Tice out there with Jackson. And it's Matherin in at the three spot. Here's Nemhard feeds to Jackson. And it's Tice in the corner. Just five on the clock. Misses the corner three. And George Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. It's off to Utah for him after this as they take on the Jazz. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. And Jackson throws it down hard. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Curry passes to Looney, and he jams it with authority. Man, Looney is so long, gets up there and flushes it. And uh, Indiana shooting 43% for the game. Here's Nemhard, guarded by Curry. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Well, we've got a moment now uh, to see this year's three-point contest and how it's shaping up. Let's take a look at some of the top candidates emerging as we see here some players who are likely to make the final cut. Not too shabby of shooters on this list, Kevin. you got to love the advancement and really the evolution of the three-point shot in today's game. Take a look at Thompson. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. I mean, he's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. They now take the lead. Curry's got six in the quarter. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. They've shown great focus on the defensive end, putting constant pressure on the ball and really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. Well, another part of the credit has to go to what they did on the inside blocking shots. I mean, super scrappy defensively, just affecting a lot of the opportunities that their opponents were putting up. And the Pacers call time here. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I heard Rick Carlisle during that last break talking with the team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. Thank you, David. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total safe. Good luck trying to stop them now. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Smith with a wide open look. And again, unable to change momentum here. Hurry from deep three-point land. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. This one for three. And he gets it back. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. Golden State and foul. there's the call on Curry. Second first. That's foul. foul number two for him. Team foul. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter to the middle. Here's Smith, and it's Smith finishing it off. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Curry finds Paul. From deep three-point range, rebounded by Jackson. And that's one way to end up in the highlights. Yeah, well, the, the bloopers, right? McConnell passes to Heal. Off target from outside. Where you'll see him miss such an open look. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Pacers trail by three. That's the three fly. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got five assists tonight. 
Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Now, here's Wiggins. That shot, no good. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Here's Matherin. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And inside, Matherin makes great use of his agility, developing some instincts for how to get around in traffic. Healed the pass to Matherin. Jackson a screen on Thompson. Matherin. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And there's the foul. Mm -hmm. It'll go on T.J. McConnell. That's his first foul. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Time to turn it up and get loud. Here they come. take on the hustle stats for the Pacers. And look at how aggressive they were defensively, Two forcing shots. mistakes and turning those mistakes into points. And there's been another bonus to what's happened with them tonight, and that's the offensive rebounding. They're boxing out, they're getting up extra shots. That could be a difference maker in the result. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's McConnell. Trying to break that ice cold streak and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. No question, he got blocked on that shot. Shooting for Indiana, TJ McConnell at the line for two. That one is off. So he comes up empty at the line. Warriors have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Ball finds Thompson. Some nice passing by Golden State. Wiggins, a screen on Smith. Curry on the wing. Over in the corner, Paul. Six to shoot. Pass to Curry. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Curry's got 13 points in just this quarter. And it's McConnell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Indiana. They've got the Timberwolves ahead of them next in Minneapolis. And that will conclude this long seven-game road trip. Pass to Matherin. Fires from deep. The Warriors pull it in. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the opposing team coach. And he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but he that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now, here's Curry. Always oh, going up for the alley-oop here. Here's Matherin. The pass to McConnell. Jackson trying to break through. And that'll be Indiana as it goes out of bounds. Pacers retain possession. The Pacers making a switch here. Nemhard's checked in. Here's McConnell. And there it is for him. Pretty McConnell. much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Curry. Thompson, a screen on McConnell. Curry kicks to Thompson. Stolen by Jackson. McConnell with it. 
Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Curry. And the action on hold, as it appears, there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Tough to see. And, boy, when you see someone hurting like this, it's always scary. Yeah, it reminds you of what's really important. Health, number one. Everything else comes after that. And the Warriors making a change here. Iguodala is checked in. Warriors have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Iguodala with a screen on McConnell. Holds it up for Iguodala. It's stolen by Heel. McConnell with it. He's picked up by Paul. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Fifth personal foul. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up on Wednesday. They'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Utah Jazz. And then on Saturday, they'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Boston Celtics. And for that game against Indiana. It's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be... Substitution on the board. And here are the Pacers now. They lead by four. Passes it to Orte, and there's the call on Curry. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. And the Pacers call time here. C.J. McConnell comes in for Duarte. And here are the Pacers now. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Out to Smith. Beyond the arc. And Curry pulls it down. Curry's got four rebounds now tonight. Not great numbers. A great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. This is as good as it First gets from foul. the charity strike here Two in the foul. second. Timeout called the Warriors. The line for the Dubs. Curry taking two shots. Golden State calls timeout. Time to get loud and make some noise for your Warriors. free throw no good good on the second free throw here's Nemhard pass to McConnell here's Nemhard guarded by Kirk Shot clock at five. Here's Nemo. Andre Iguodala comes up with the rebound. They set the pick. Curry with it. it now by Jackson. Pacers foul. Buddy Heal. Second personal foul. Team sports. At the line for the Dubs. Curry. First free throw is good. Ooh, shots. Free throws good for Curry. Tremendous job at the line as usual. You can always bank on him game. in Two those minutes. situations. And the rejection by Curry. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got four assists now tonight. minute 42 left in the fourth quarter 
Inside. There's McConnell. And he takes in the lane. McConnell's got six here in this quarter. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. DiVincenzo being a connector out there now. 130 left here in the fourth quarter. Up top heel. Defended by DiVincenzo. Jackson kicks to McConnell. Here's Nemar. Hangs home the trifecta. Nemar's got 13 points in the second half. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. And you don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Cool. He's been up and in off the pretty assist. Well, Jordan Poole thinks every shot is going in, and why not? That was huge. Healed against DiVincenzo. Smith with a screen on DiVincenzo. Healed finds Smith. Trying to get open his heel. Good! Oh, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Here's Curry. It falls! A huge shot to tie it up. Uh, and that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close he's getting the ball it's been a struggle all night long from deep but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence he's still letting him rip and obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight and yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play and the Pacers call time here they're trailing by two we've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter Devon Looney is checked in for Iguodala. Paul comes in for Poole. And Wiggins is up in for Dante DiVincenzo. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Here's McConnell. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. He seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. You see that pay off. And even though he lacks the size of some of the other bigs, that extra effort has allowed him to do some serious work here on the board. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by two. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Big chance here to tie it. Uh, the they just need a solid play right now. And the coach going through his index cards to find one to get something going. Here's Curry. Oh, off the target. Isaiah Jackson, third personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Warriors. Curry. At the line for two. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And he ends up making the second, and that narrows the gap to one. Six seconds left in the game. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. So it's the Pacers now. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second personal foul. Team is in with the penalty. Shooting for Indiana. First free throw is good. And that will put them up by two. And a tough break as his second attempt at the line. No good. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. That's so a close game. game sees Indiana take this one. Once this again, win such you. a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment. And a crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate 
an entire building. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Olin, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in as we end with the New Balance Player of the Game.